get started with you, Kelly. What do you see from UCF's offense? Obviously, they they're very explosive. Yeah. Uh, well, you kind of said it yourself, very explosive. Um, have a quarterback, you know, that's a seasoned quarterback. Looks a lot like a, kind of a middle infielder, deals the ball out pretty quick in the RPO game. Um, number seven, really quality running back. Actually, have two. Offensive line's pretty good. You know, they got size, so they do a good job of kind of covering you up, running the ball. Backs can find the hole. Then the other part is they've got guys out on the perimeter that can create explosive plays. So, um, Pretty balanced offense when it comes to that part. There's not like you can go take away one part of it. You know, you take away the quarterback per se, then you got the running back. You take away the running back, you got the receiver. So, you know, pretty balanced in what they do. And then, of course, you know, Gus historically has always been pretty explosive in, you know, wherever he's been. And, uh, you know, so that's kind of historically who they are, you know, so. Okay. You coached against Gus before. Yes, yeah. I mean, yep. So what makes – uh, you know, I think a lot of it's just they have a variation of in flavor of plays that they do, and then they just keep mixing it up, and then they'll attack a defense too. Um, you know, they got certain kind of um, you know runs they do versus three down fronts versus four down fronts. Um, they mix tempo in there. You know, if he's got a good quarterback that's a running quarterback and a passing quarterback, which they do, that makes them tough as well. Um, you know, and I think they just, you know, they're very good and very sound in what they do, but they do enough to make you have to work on a lot of different things. And then, you know, running the offense as long as he has, he knows how to set those things up, you know, knows how to, like I said, get you out leverage and things like that, um, try to get you matched up and one-on-one -on -one to take a shot down the field. Um, but it's just kind of a seasoned guy running an offense he's been running for 20 years, you know. Okay. How long has the season gone for? Sure. Uh, you know, the past couple months seems like ten years. You know, but it's been <laughs> it's been great. I mean, it's been good. You know, the, the players have made it good because I mean, they're smart guys. They understand. They care. Football is important to them. You know, the coaching staff's done a great job of kind of helping. You know, there's always those things when you go from helping another guy and coaching a position to kind of leading the charge and giving direction on what you want everything to do and things like that. So coaches did a good job of kind of jumping in and helping take over. Uh, you know, the first week, just thinking back to the Miami week, that was um, that was really kind of just a whirlwind. You know, you're working, you're going from working 16 hours a day to 18 hours a day because you're like, okay, I have to remember this. I've got to do that, you know, and you're – and a lot of times people are waiting on you to tell them what you want next. So – Organization was a big part of it. And then as we kind of flowed through that week and got kind of going to the next game, each week has kind of gotten a little bit more routine. So uh, it's gotten better from a standpoint of uh, organization as it goes. And then the players also, you know, just the defensive schemes that I've been around that we do, them getting accustomed to sort of this is what I'm thinking, they can kind of anticipate too. So that's been, you know, good. I can see. Coach King in the back back there, he helps a lot too. So, um, how much have you been able to like tweak or install or do any of that stuff? I know it's hard in the middle of the season. Uh, you know, a little here and there, you know, you don't want to dump it all on top of them. So, we took a lot of the terminology and kind of tried to tweak it, I guess, really me learning. So, you kind of had a learning curve of, okay, I want to do this. What do we call that? You know, how do I phrase it so that the players know what I'm saying? So um, I think the biggest thing was take the pressure off of them and put it on me to adjust. Um, we've tweaked some things which are different, so I have to obviously go in there and teach those guys what it is, how it is that I want it done. Um, and I don't know, it's kind of hard to say because, you know, there are a lot of similarities in what, you know, was done before and what's being done now. It was just, you know, the terminology was a little different. So probably that might be a good question for the players. You see if it's on the top of third down offenses like how much has it been a focus for you guys to stop that? Uh, you know, obviously when you when you play against an offense like this that is, you know, really good in a lot of areas, uh, key areas, uh, you know, the things that they do, you try to counter how they do it, okay, whether it be a play, whether it be a formation, 
whether it be tempo to say second to third, third to first, uh, you're trying to have a plan to combat that, you know, not to put your players on their heels because a lot of times when offenses are doing those type things, they're trying to put you on your heels a little bit or you can't get your communication in or whatever. So there's a lot of that that we have to do, uh, you know, in a controlled setting. So when we get into the game, the players can take it and, you know, operate the way you need to. Uh, and obviously, you know, if you can, you know, do things to affect the quarterback, that always kind of affects the passing game on third down as well. Questions for Coach Kel. With the changes on the staff, kind of how's it been with the bowl prep? I know Alec and Nick Quinn are helping, but yeah. and Ricky's obviously helped some this year too. Yeah. Just how does how do you do you approach that for the bowl game? Uh, you know, probably. I, what we did was we just said, okay, everyone's, you know, kind of been in their path or their, their role. Well, we're going to have to expand our roles a little bit. You know, we're going to have to substitute different on the side. Players have taken on a little bit of ownership. We're trying to help substitute, you know, as practice flows, cards, things like that. Um, but it was just sort of a, just like, you know, whenever there was a change in the middle of the season, everyone sort of jumped in and said, what do we got to do? Um, and that's kind of how we handled it. We just, you know, hey, I need you to do, instead of one period of practice cards, I need you to do two. So just kind of everybody's workload kind of increased a little bit. And again, the players are pretty good at what, what they do, and so they've kind of taken a little bit of a load off of us. So. Anything else for Coach? Up, Kelly, wrap us up, let's sure. What has this been like for you? Like you came back here, yeah. you I had a defined role and yeah. things changed. Just what has it been like for you to, to deal with all this this year? Uh, you know, it's football, you know. I mean, it's organization of people. Things change. Every play changes. Every year changes. Life changes. If you can't adapt to changes, you're going to struggle in life. So it's, you know, I've, this is my, golly, I'm trying to think, sixth, seventh different place to be. Um, whether it be in the NFL, whether it be high school, whether it be college, when you're dealing with high school people, you, you coach them in a different way, okay? They learn differently, okay? People have different backgrounds, you know, whether it be, you know, live in bigger cities, me being from, from the country, you know, everyone kind of has, but they're all the same. So uh, I think the biggest thing has just been I've adapted most of my coaching career, and it's just adapting again to a different situation. So that's – it's just like the game. You know, you go out there and it's first down, second down, third down. You know, they may get a big play. We may get a big play. We adapt and you adjust to the next situation. So uh, it's just part of the role. When you get into the coaching profession, you got to be able to do that. So. Thank you, Coach. Yep.